Today we are going to be answering the question, is it possible to solve a square word in four guesses? Uh, it might seem like it's not possible because, after all, there are five words that you need to guess. However, each guess can contribute towards multiple words in the solution. So here, for example, even though our guess ha only had five letters in it, um, it revealed seven total spaces in the solution. So is there some puzzle where there is some combination of valid guesses uh, that would allow us to solve that puzzle in only four guesses? That's what we are going to explore using this uh, competitive programming language that I've been developing called Slouch. So first thing that we're going to do is load in all of the puzzles. We can see that's just one big string, so split that up into lines, split the lines up into words, and now that's a bit more manageable. We can also load our uh, word list. These are all the legally guessable words. And we can see there are 12,000 of them. So um, the first thing to notice here is that if we only have four guesses, that means we have at most 20 unique letters among those four guesses. So in order for a puzzle to be solvable, um, it would need to have no more than 20 unique letters um, in the puzzle. And not in, across the total puzzle, but uh, unique column-wise. So I'll, I'll show you what I mean. We take this first puzzle uh, and we transpose it to get the columns. Then we can uh, look at only the unique letters in each of those columns. So you can see most of these are unchanged, but the last one only has four letters because there was a, a repeated letter in there. So if we count up all of those and then we sum the results, we get the total number of uh, unique letters required to solve this puzzle. So in this case, it's 24, which is more than we could possibly do with four guesses. So we know that this one is not going to be solvable. But um, we can take this function, we'll call that dupe score, and we can filter all of the puzzles based on this, based on whether their dupe score is no greater than 20. And we can see that there are 16 of those. So there are 16 puzzles that are, at least in theory, could be solvable in four guesses. Um, for our purposes, we're just going to be looking at this last one. So I'll stick that in a variable. OK, so we have our puzzle, and we have our word list. So. I mean, we could just guess all possible combinations of, of guesses using the word list, but that would clearly be uh, a bit unmanageable because there are 12,000 words in the word list. So just naively, if we were going through all of those, um, that's how many guesses we would need to try, which is uh, kind of unmanageable. Fortunately, we can really narrow down the word list quite a bit. Um, we can filter the words based on whether or not they're going to be making progress towards solving the puzzle. Um, and the way that we'll define that is as follows. So if we take our puzzle, and again, we transpose it to get the columns, and we look at the unique letters in each column, we can see that for four out of the five columns, um, there are four letters and we only have four guesses. That means that each of our guesses is going to have to subtract one of the letters uh, from those four columns. So we can define a word to be contributory if its first letter is in comma, and its second letter is in abel, and so on. I know this is a, a little ugly, but um, it does work. Okay, so now we can 
take our word list and we can filter that by whether it's contributory and you can see that narrows it down quite a bit to only 129 words. So that's pretty good, but um, 129 to the fourth power is still too large, unfortunately. Um, but there is one more trick we can use to narrow down the scope a bit. Um, we can arbitrarily decide um, the sequence in which we're going to be making our guesses. And we know that one of the guesses is going to have to start with a C, one of them is going to have to start with an O, one will have to start with an M, and one will have to start with an A, right? Because the first word is um, comma. So we can split up our word list based on um, which words start with each one of those letters. So for each letter and comma, um, we will filter the word list based on whether it has that particular prefix. And so now we've we split up the word list into groups. Um, it's kind of hard to see here, but the first group is only the words that start with C, then the words that start with O, and so on. So we'll call that by letter. Okay, and so the last thing that we need is a way to actually verify our solution. So what we want to do is we want to take our puzzle and we want to apply a guess to it. And so that looks something like, so if our guess is cast, we're going to zip each one of those, uh, sorry, I should be transposing this, zip each one of those letters with the column that it's affecting. And then we would want to delete um, that letter from the column. So we'll use uh, zip with delete there. And you can see this is like the result of applying casts to the columns. And if we do that for each of the guesses, we should end up with just the empty string in, in all the positions, right? So we would check, um, are all of these equal to the empty string? And of course, that's going to be false for just one guess. But um, because we have to do it for multiple guesses, we're going to need a fold here. So let me just rewrite this. Zip with flip delete on the transpose of the puzzle. It's all equal to the empty string. Um, so we can check this by, well, if we feed the puzzle itself into solves, that returns true, obviously. Um, but if we only feed like one word in, then it's going to be false. So now we have everything that we need in order to find our solution. Um, so what we're going to do is take all of the combinations of this uh, by letter array. And then that's our sequence of guesses. So we just want to find uh, the first one of, of any of those that satisfies solves. And that will chug for a bit, and pretty quickly it spits out cysts, overt, mania, alter. And sure enough, if we go over to square word and we type in those guesses, cysts, overt, mania, alter, we will see that we have solved the square word in just four guesses. Uh, we were so good that the scorecard can't even show us how good we were. But perhaps by the time you're watching this, um, that will have been updated. And that's it. Thanks for watching.